Senator Lyons. Thank you, Madam Acting Deputy President. Um, I rise today to uh, speak against this motion that was put up uh, today, uh, which um, contains a lot of mistruths about what the Medivac legislation actually does. And, um, I've heard from, the, from uh, some of the government senators today as they uh, agree with that um, matter of public importance, somehow buying into the argument there's something deeply flawed with that Medivac legislation. But in my contribution today, I really want to start to put the truth on the table. Um, we heard government senators in particular talk about um, immigration and border control. That's not what Medivac's about. Medivac is about uh, dealing with sick people in a fair and appropriate way, a way that I believe most Australians would want to be treated if they found themselves in a situation where there wasn't expert medical attention available to them. Um, I've heard government senators say today that they take the advice of experts. Well, that Medivac bill was put forward as it came as, um, from a groundswell of doctors, men, thousands of doctors across this country, GP specialists, who were very concerned about the health and well-being of uh, refugees on Manus and Nauru. Now, they're the experts, and yet when those experts speak, the Morrison government doesn't want to listen to them. Somehow it makes it about weakening our borders and so on. And who could forget earlier this year when we saw the absolute farce, the political expediency of a government so desperate that they suddenly announced, at the cost of billions of dollars, the reopening of Christmas Island Detention Centre? Because, according to the government, if you believe the sort of nonsense they were peddling, we were going to have thousands of um, people seeking asylum arriving on our borders as a result of the Medica Medivac legislation. Well, anyone who cares to just look at that legislation knows that it applies only to the current cohort of refugees. It's not, it doesn't have a future. It, it applies to a current cohort. It doesn't apply to anyone who uh, seeks to arrive in Australia, whether by boat or by plane. It simply applies to those who are currently um, see, need medical help. And there was a need for this legislation because all of us have heard the horror stories of children um, refusing to eat, of children uh, not meeting milestones, of adults who have uh, died of horrific injuries um, that started as a very small uh, issue that really, in, if treated in Australia, uh, the people would not have lost their lives. So it was actually needed. And let's put some other truths on the table. The government controls this process at all times. At all times. It's not about uh, two doctors in you know, some beachside suburb suddenly just uh, filling out a form. The government maintains control. And let's put some more facts on the table. How many refugees have been transferred to Australia since that Medivac legislation came into place? Just 70. That's right, seven zero. Seven zero. And only seven have been um, medevaced to Australia against the government's wishes. So we just heard from government centres going on about how we're weakening our borders, how we're opening the gates. None of that, none of that is true. None of that is true. This is legislation that is about giving people who are sick. Uh, the opportunity, if they can't be treated where they are, to be brought to Australia. And fair-minded Australians would support that sort of move. We heard, as I said before, the Christmas Island Detention Centre open. We saw that disgraceful, disgraceful use of taxpayers' money when the Prime Minister flew right across Australia, flew to Christmas Island, and as a West Australian as Senator, Christmas Island is, is part of um, the electorates in Western Australia. We saw the Prime Minister with an entourage of media go and take photos and look at all the medical equipment and all of that. Then what happened? Suddenly, quietly, we're not doing that anymore. That's uh, been closed, as we always knew it would be. 
um, because it suited the government's purpose at the time to try and scare people and try and paint this picture of legislation that's designed for a specific group of people to enable them to get the health care to which they are so rightly um, uh, to receive, um, yet they tried to paint it there was going to be thousands and thousands of, of um, people coming to our shores seeking asylum. Well, that just hasn't happened. It simply hasn't happened. And what Labor wants to do, and we supported the Medivac legislation, um, is to ensure that uh, people who are sick get the medical treatment that they are entitled to receive. Um, we also uh, took the advice of um, experts. We did talk to security people, which is why uh, Labor um, also uh, ensured that the minister, the minister, that's Mr. Dutton currently, has the final discretion over medical transfers. Now, why won't those opposite? Why won't the government talk about the truth of this legislation? Because it doesn't suit their narrative. They want to continue to scare Australians, to scare them about taxes, to scare them about uh, people coming to our country uninvited. They want to scare them about weakened borders because it suits their narrative. And as we saw earlier this week, uh, the government really doesn't have a plan. It doesn't have a legislation agenda. We saw at 8.25 p.m. on Tuesday night, suddenly we were doing a dress in reply because guess what? The government had no more business. So it suits them to continue with this scare narrative, whatever it is on, uh, they want to paint this scary picture or they want to blame others. When all this legislation is seeking to do is to take people um, who are sick and enable them, if two doctors, which the government has complete control over, uh, sign off that they are brought here for treatment. The other thing that you never hear the government um, talk about is the government itself has brought thousands of people here. There's already thousands of people in, the, in Australia right now, men, women and children, receiving treatment. Receiving treatment. They are refugees. And yet, under the Medivac bill, we've had 70. So on one side, we've got 70 as part of this new legislation against the thousands the government has already brought here. But you won't hear them talk about that either because it doesn't suit the narrative. It doesn't suit the let's make people afraid. Let's make people think this legislation is all about weakening borders. Let's um, make people think this legislation is all about immigration. And they're hell-bent on repealing it. And uh, they've had um, Senator Roberts today fire the first shot for them, to fire the first shot to test us out. Well, Labor's not backing away from this. We are not backing away for our support that people who are sick need to be treated decently. That is our position. It's been our position from day one. And that will remain our position. So good on the government. They've tested the waters today. They've seen where their support is. Uh, and this Medibat legislation is really about giving sick people a fair go. Um, and the government is failing the basic test of truth, truthfulness and the sort of rhetoric and spin that it's putting out. And really, the government, uh, we've seen a minister who routinely manipulates, misrepresents and mischaracterises what's really happening for what? For political gain. We often hear in this place that we shouldn't uh, play politics with this, that and the other thing. Well, it's not people on this side of the chamber uh, that are playing politics here. It's the government, because it's the government would, that would lead uh, to try and mislead Australians to think that there's thousands of people coming when they're 70. It's a government who only talks about weakening our borders when this is about sick people getting the treatment they're entitled to. Uh, we hear the government um, trying to put a position that this is all about immigration and controlling who comes here and who doesn't, when the actual truth is that many more people have come um, before this legislation was put in place to be treated in Australia than the 70 that have come since we've had the Medivac bill. So we will oppose it. We will continue uh, to oppose the government's attempts to repeal this legisla legislation.
because at the end of the day this is about sick people getting the treatment they deserve, signed off on expert doctors. Thank you, Madam Acting Deputy President. Thank you, Senator Lyons.